ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and I'm here to ask an answer, although not necessarily in that order, one very simple question. WTF is the man economy? And here to help me answer that question is my very neglected and dusty copy of Team Fortress 2 that I don't believe I've played in quite some time. I know, it's a heresy, it's a sin. I used to be really great with the Huntsman because, you know, it's a very high skill weapon. I used to shoot it down very narrow corridors and get a lot of kills and I'd feel very good about myself. Very good indeed. People would cry and scream and say, There is no skill involved in that, you're just spamming down the corridor and getting random headshots. And I would, of course, smirk and look at them and say, No, no dear, I'm, I'm leading the target. You, you don't seem to understand. They'll never understand my skills. Bitches don't know. What is the Manco Store? Well, the Manco Store is part of this Man Economy update, which is this giant update just came out today for Team Fortress 2, and it is a microtransaction store within the actual game itself. So, how do you use it? Well, you simply spend your Earth money. There are no points, there is no nonsense kind of currency, you just spend your money, and you fund it via the use of the Steam Wallet, which came in a little while ago, but seemed to serve no practical purpose up until now. So you can put any amount of money in your Steam Wallet, but the minimum amount is five dollars, four pounds, or five euros. So that's the minimum you've got to put in, but you can then put in any increment. So I could put in five dollars and one cent if I so desired. There are no points, no Xbox Live Arcade style points or anything like that. So you're not going to be getting nickeled and dimed via odd economics. Yes, I'm looking at you Riot Games with your League of Legends nonsense and your prime numbers. Anyway. So... What can you buy? Well, there's a lot of things, so why don't we just go and have a look, shall we? We're going to go shopping today. I pre-charged my wallet with 25 of my British pounds, and I'm going to see what I can get for it. I'm going to spend 25 pounds in the store today for your amusement. Now, first thing you might ask is, well... Isn't this just buying stuff that makes you more powerful? Apparently not. According to the FAQ, it is not possible to get something that can only be bought that would make you more powerful in the game. You can get these in other ways. So say you can get them via random drops and things like that. But you can skip that process by buying them. So let's go and have a look. So we've got, this is the new section right here. There are a number of sections here. We've got home, which is your starter right here. That's your featured item today, which is a pistol of some description. I think we might pick that one up because that's quite cheap. Looks pretty cool. You get a free hat with your first purchase, as you can see right there, and a surprise mystery bonus item every time you spend 15 of your Earth Pounds. Let us start our shopping expedition. Alright, this is all your items right here. You can break it down on the basis of your actual class, and of course headgear is, well, class neutral. I must say, as a start, that is really expensive. That's £12 for a hat. £12. I can get a new game for that. Hell, I just bought the new Lara Croft game for a tenner, and that only came out a few days ago. Tenner, by the way, is £10, if you hadn't already guessed. So, I'm um, expected to pay 20% more for a virtual hat. I'm not so sure I'm going to do that. If we have a look at this one, this is a battle banner. It is a defensive buff that protects nearby team members from crits and blocks 35% of incoming damage. Pretty good stuff right there. Now, you might also notice that it's part of a set. Yes, there are now set bonuses. A lot of people feared this was going down the direction of World of Warcraft, and that's exactly what's happening. Personally, I think it's kind of neat, but then again, I've never treated Team Fortress 2 as a serious game, and I'm sure that people like EX Television, also part of the game station, are going to be coming down like a ton of bricks on me for this, but I always found it to be just an enjoyable, fun experience with some kind of unique stuff in it. So, you've got your set bonus right here, and if you own all of these things, you will get, in fact, you will get... A nice little bonus, and that bonus is 20% sentry damage resistance on wearer. So what do I need? Well, I need the tank buster. Uh, according to that, I already have the tank buster. What do I? No, I don't. Interesting. Why has it got that as green? I don't really understand that. Oh, I see. The tank buster is the name of the set. Right, okay, that doesn't make any sense. Or at least it didn't until now. Right, so I need the black box, the battalion's backup, and the grenadier's soft cap in order to complete that. So I need a hat to complete the set. That's an expensive set, good lord. Right, so that's that, and that's the black box, which is a rocket launcher. Plus 15% health on hit and a minus 25% clip size. That would be good, because I'm absolutely terrible at the game, so something that healed me every time I got a hit would be kind of cool. So what else have we got? Fair selection of items right here. Darwin's Danger Shield. Is that made out of a crocodile? It is, isn't it? Yeah. 
There are actually four pieces of that particular set. The wearer cannot be killed by headshots. Wow, okay. So what, does that take you down to one HP? Does it reduce the damage coming in? I really don't know. But apparently you cannot be killed by headshots. This is the Saharan Spy Kit. You reduce your decloak sound volume, and also it's a 0.5 second longer cloak blink time. You only need three pieces for that. Now, the prices vary quite dramatically, and you might notice this one. Well, this is the Rocket Jumper. That's a 29 pence item versus, say, this, which is a two pound item. Now, that's not part of a set, which is why I assume it's cheaper than that. That's part of a set. Let's go and have a look at the bundles, shall we? So, this has a ton of stuff. I believe the polycount, polycount pack was some kind of contest, if I remember correctly. It's all the winning entries from that. You get all of them, but it's going to cost you £29.99, which I might add is the price of a brand new release on Steam. I bought Dead Rising 2 cheaper than that, in fact. And you could also buy, say, Civ 5 for that price. I don't know if I'd ever spend £29 in one go on virtual items, but there you go. Proco style kit, so that's a full set for £15, and you save yourself 28% on that one. You save 14% on that one right there. That one actually comes with four items as opposed to the three there, so that's actually better value. And it varies sort of between the two. Interesting. Now, the headgear, I think, is what's going to get people really fired up in more ways than one, because some of these things are really pricey. Like I said, the attendant is extremely costly. But there are some other things that aren't. The thing is, a lot of these are, one, not part of set bonuses, and two, a lot of them are already in the game, as I recall. Now, if you desire, you can actually preview it, which is quite nice. So, that's what it looks like. It can be used on the spy, and that's what it looks like on the spy. So, that's kind of neat. Let's try and put the attendant on the pyro, apparently. That's pyro-specific. It's not exactly what I'd call £12 worth of hat, is it? Bonk helm. What on earth is that? I've never seen that before. Is that That's just nothing. Okay. I don't know if I'd pay £7 for effectively nothing, but hey, there you go. I suppose people will buy anything these days. The one I do want is this. Now, th this is what I'm talking about right here. Demo Man hat. That is absolutely fantastic. Also, the noble amassment of hats, which can be used on pretty much anything. So, I could use that on the sniper that I tend to play, or the engineer. Tower O hats right there. Very cool. Now, stuff like that's already in the game. So, I suppose it's not a big deal to a lot of people. But hats are so incredibly rare. The towering pillow O hats right there. Very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously considering that. It's nice, I suppose, to be able to skip the random drop chance of it, because I'd actually kind of like the top hat. I think the top hat might be on my purchase list today, honestly. That, that is a very dapper top hat. And, of course, I'll never get it, because it's a random chance, or you have to craft it, which takes freaking forever. I don't play an awful lot of this game, but I do like cosmetic stuff like this, and I have a little bit of money to spare. Now, let's go and have a look at weapons, shall we? This is really handy for me as well, because a lot of these items do take a little bit of time to unlock. I would quite like some of them. For instance, uh, let's go and have a look. So I'm fairly sure... Yes, there it is. The Wrangler. I haven't got that one yet. You've got to get Engineer Milestone 3 to get it. I've got all of the other engineering items except for that. I would love to have the Wrangler. 59 pence seems like a reasonable price for it. The Ubersaw right there. It seems like some of the older items don't cost quite as much as opposed... Well, I don't know. The Scottish Resistance is fairly new. It's weird, isn't it? And this It doesn't make a huge amount of sense. They just seem to have random prices on them. And are these on the basis of how useful they are? Because those gloves are £3.50 versus this sword, the Islander, which is 59p. Hmm. It's odd. Really, really seemingly random. Now, that's not all there is with it, though. This is kind of exciting. This is the miscellaneous tab, and this actually allows you to customize your gear. So, if I so desired... I could change the color of a single item to the color purple. Now, once that's applied, as far as I can tell, that is it. It does the color of a single item. Now, obviously, previewing this is a waste of time because you can't preview it on an item that exists, which is rather annoying. I would quite like that to be able to happen. I would like to know what the hat looks like in purple, so I guess I'm just going to have to buy the hat in purple and see how that one goes. What else do we have? A Manco Supply Crate Key. It's a limited-use item 
So supply crates can actually pop up in the game and you need one of these to unlock it and potentially they can have some really crazy ultra rare stuff in them. So I imagine they're wanting to encourage people to at least have one supply crate key on them at all times. It's kind of neat. I think I should probably buy one of those. You can also get a name tag, which will change the name of an item in your backpack. The other players will see the name you choose. Oh, that is so open to abuse. Good lord. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're going to have to consider that as well. Secret Saxton. This gives a random gift to a random person on the server. Or, the much more expensive version, a pile of gifts, which gifts the entire server something. Interesting stuff. And then, of course, you've got all of these different paint items right here. Hmm, okay. So, £25. What am I going to spend it on? Well, what am I missing? Well, I'm definitely missing the direct hit. I don't have that. So let's add that one. Okay, nice dinging sound. We're good with that. Do I have the ambassador? I think I've got the ambassador. I can't remember. That's the problem. <laughs> it would be nice, actually, if it told you what you already owned. I can't remember if I ever ended up getting the ambassador. and uh, Maybe not. I'll end up with spare ambassadors that just get melted down. Although I suppose I can maybe trade it. Although you can't actually trade anything that you buy here right now, by the way. They were saying that they are not allowing that right now until they have a full grasp on what this is doing to the, quote, man economy. I don't even know what that means, but hey, there you go. Okay, so I've got a direct hit. Can I buy two direct hits? Yes. If I so desire, I can buy two of the same item. Let's remove one of those from there. Okay. What am I missing? I missed a lot of the updates, actually, so I'm missing a massive amount of stuff. This is new by the looks of it, considering the price I would imagine it is. The buff banner. That's probably handy. Let's get one of those. Uh, that's the equalizer. That's supposed to be very, very good indeed. Killing gloves of boxing I do not have yet. That would be nice for my heavy, even though it's mostly cosmetic, more so than anything else. Not exactly all that great. Not bad, admittedly, but hey. Girardi, I already have. I think I've actually got everything for the sniper, mostly. Except for the new stuff. Let's see. Scottish Resistance, that sounds good. There we go, we'll get one of those. That is a sexy new sniper rifle. On hit, Girardi applied for time. Oh, that, that's sick. But you don't get any headshots. Well, that's great, because I'm terrible at aiming, so let me get one of those. Okay, right. So, currently in my backpack, I have £3.45 worth of gear. Right. Can I get the hat that I was after? Thinking I probably should. Well, give me an excuse to play the demo man again, anyway. £6.99 hat. You know, I might get the noble assortment of hats, because that's not only cheaper, but also it has more hats. It seems like it's much better hatty value. So, let's put that one on right there. How much have we spent? £8.44. Okay. Now, what I would like to do is be uber generous, I, and also demonstrate what this actually does. So, why don't we spend £15 on this pile of gifts? So, some lucky server is going to get something very nice indeed today. And I've got, let's see, £1.50 left. Which, annoyingly enough, is... Mm, yeah, let's let's take out some crappy item. We don't need the buff banner, do we? There we go. Okay, cool. So, I can either recolor the Tower of Hats, or I can get one of these keys. Uh, I think the chances of us running into one of those anytime soon are fairly low, so... Uh, I'm thinking a nice big purple patar of hat sounds good. There we go. Right, cool. Let's let's buy it all, shall we? Checking it out. They should take it straight out of your Steam wallet, so I wonder how long this actually takes. Do, 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 do. That is a noble amassment. Oh, oh, for God's sake! <laughs> really? I would want to give you money for my virtual items, Valve, please. I suppose that's the problem of checking things out on release days. They just don't work. Ugh. Well, while it's doing that, let me just reiterate a few things just to make sure. So you can still obtain almost every item by either doing achievements or getting random drops or by crafting. Some of this cosmetic stuff's only available through the store. So all of this... Whoa, okay, right. Ah, right, looks like we're in business. Yes, authorize. There we go. We're gonna, that's what we're going to buy today. Do we have them? I assume we have them. Let's check. Let's go and find out. Also, did I get my free hat and my free mystery gift? I certainly hope so. Because I just spent over £15 on one transaction, so... Alright, transaction completed. Enjoy your loot. Right, ah, nine new might was acquired. Excellent. Okay. So, direct hit. Yep. Killing loads of boxing. Scottish resistance. A pile of gifts. I have no idea how you use this. I assume you have to equip it. The Sydney Sleeper Sniper Rifle, a Deep Commander Purple, a Manco Cap, 
and Frontier Justice, which I already have. Oh well, <laughs> never mind. Had to give me the one thing I've got. I've got so little. <laughs> they probably did that on purpose. Yeah, I like that. The Sydney Sleeper looks really fun. I'm looking forward to giving that a shot. Right. Okay, so I spent all of that stuff. Let's get something kitted out. God, it's been so long since I've played this, I can barely remember how it works. Where the hell is the loadout screen in this thing? That's my achievements. Manage items. Right, excellent, cool. Now, what you've got here, you've got your backpack, obviously your crafting, which you've seen before, the Manco catalog, and you can trade. Now, you can actually trade via your friends list, so I could trade with one of these guys if I so desired, and I assume that's fairly simple to do. Now, what did I get? Well, let's kid out the sniper, shall we, because we've got some new stuff here. Now, you might also notice that these are now named Vintage, and they actually have a blue name. That's to indicate that you got them before you could buy stuff. So, they're like limited edition things now. It's Valve giving you a little bit of props for getting the stuff early. Yes, I do have Primeval Warrior. na -de da Oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to replace the cookery. I need to work on that one. There we go, the Sydney Sleeper. Will I get the full set at some point? I have two Huntsmen as well. I did not know that. A vintage Gerati, a vintage Razorback. I don't think we need Gerati and the Gerati sniper rifle. That might be a little bit excessive. Man's noble assortment of hats. Right, now, how the hell do you color this? Right, we can equip the pile of gifts. I don't know how you use that. <laughs> I will find out and hopefully not screw it up. Right. Okay, keep, 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 yep. Cool. Good stuff. I'm of attribute. I assume that must mean the set bonus, and obviously we don't have anything for that just yet. Hmm. I wonder if crafting is used for that. Maybe. Let's have a look. Do I have the color paint? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, that definitely doesn't work. How the hell do you use this thing, then? Let's go back to the Manco catalog and try and find out. God, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> that's an unbelievable amount of stuff. Yes, as you can tell, I'm doing this live, incidentally. This is sort of a first impressions kind of thing. But this is quite complicated, honestly. They haven't provided a massive amount of documentation. I've read the FAQ, and that still doesn't really explain everything. All right, where's my backpack? Okay, how do you use this bloody thing? Okay, use with... Uh, where is me hat? Pile of hats, pile of hats, pile of hats is... Is that it? Is that my pile of hats? Yes. You can't. Okay. What can you use it with? It says you... Can I really only paint my Manco cap? Because that is terrible. Details. Well, they change the color of a single item. Not all items are paintable, so if you're purchasing an item to paint it, ensure the details of the item lists paint cans as tools that can be used with it. Right. Okay, well, I don't actually think I have anything that will work except for this hat. <laughs> that sucks. Wow. Or I, apparently I can paint Bill's hat, but I can't paint anything else. Right, that's somewhat disappointing, I must say, but hey, there you go. Oh, whatever. We'll have it in our inventory, and I'm sure I can use it on something cooler at some point. Right. Well, I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's go on a server and make them very, very happy today. Hopefully they get things that don't suck. So let's go and find one, shall we? There you go. Using this is fairly simple. You just go to your Manage Items, and you click on your Pilo Gifts. And hey, presto, it asks you if you want to use it. Yes, I just threw away 15 English pounds on this. I actually tweeted, I'm giving away free items, and I filled the server up in about 30 seconds. It was pretty awesome. Hopefully, people will get good stuff. Well, some of them do. A lot of this is old stuff. I know one guy got some paint, so that's new. And there we go. Someone got a holy mackerel, which is the brand new melee item for the scout. Not too bad at all. Now, apparently, you get your gift when you die, by the way. So, if you're panicking and someone gives you a gift, and it's like, you received a gift, and you have no idea what happens. Yeah, you've just got to wait and actually die. There you go. So, two holy mackerels given out there. Not too bad at all. I don't know if you can get hats from it. I assume so. It's probably really, really rare, I would think. Yeah, there you go. 23 lucky, lucky people got items they probably already have. And one guy got brown paint. 
That's not bad, really. The problem is you can't really paint an awful lot with it right now, from what I can tell. But hey, I'm sure they'll expand that in the future. One thing I will say, though, is that it did say in the FAQ, oh, no, we're definitely not doing buying items. You can get them in other ways. But because of the way the sets are set up, you have a situation where you are having to purchase a hat as part of that set. And if you don't purchase a hat as part of that set, then you will end up not getting the set bonus. And there's only two ways to get hats. Either it's random drop or it's crafted. And I've got a guy on my friends list who plays this about like 70 hours a week or something like that. And it takes him about a month to get a hat from crafting. And it's a random hat. So really, you are, honestly, Valve, let's be honest. You're selling power for pounds here. I don't really mind so much because the set bonuses are not exactly massive and really I only play this casually and obviously this is all going to be turned off in competitive environments but really it's, it's a bit disingenuous to say oh we're really not selling power honest oh well never mind aside from that it's pretty cool I don't have any problems with it and I know a lot of people are going to complain and whine and scream but at the end of the day Valve's been giving us free updates for years now and I think it's totally cool for them to put a microtransaction store into the game especially when a lot of the stuff is either cosmetic or stuff you could get anyway it's nice to be able to plug my gaps in say my arsenal because some of those stuff some of those things are about 29 pence it's nice to get killing gloves of boxing and things like that because I don't play heavy an awful lot and I would kind of like those items for the rare occasions when I do play heavy rather than having to do all the achievements for them but hey, there you go. No doubt there will be plenty of debate on this, and I would recommend that you have it out in the comments section below. That does not mean that I will get involved in it, but I will let you guys fight. And the guy who emerges victorious, covered in blood, well, I'll see what I can do about getting you a random item as well. My name's been Total Biscuit, and that's been a look at the Man Economy, the brand new update for Team Fortress 2. I'll see you next time.